It's a beautiful job. After a tough loss like that, being a leader on this team, just kind of what's your message to the team in, in the locker room after a game like that? I mean, you really got to keep fighting. And now it's, it's, it's gut wrenching, it's tough, it's, it's difficult. Got a lot of guys that you know, aren't used to something like that. And now it's the time where the leaders really got to lead. You know, if you don't want to be part of this team, it's just, it is how it is. You know, I want guys to get out there to keep fighting no matter what the score is, no matter how the game's going. You should keep playing for your brother next to you. Do, you. do you feel that sense of guys, you know, sticking with this thing and not, not giving up? Absolutely. I think uh, there's a, a large, large group, you know, and that's just what we got to keep building, keep uh, advertising, and just keep being guys to keep going along. How tough was it today for you guys just to kind of keep going back out there after that? quick snowball of things that happen. I mean, that's what we do. No matter if we have just a blade of grass, you know, we're always ready to defend. You know, unfortunately, there's some time where we couldn't go out there and do anything, but, you know, that's not that's not our job. That's not our responsibility. You know, I, at the end of the day, we didn't force any turnovers, and that's unacceptable from the defensive side of the ball. Danny, there's going to be a lot of people that maybe lose faith in this the direction of this thing. There's five games left. What would you maybe tell fans and people that are maybe doubting the direction of this team right now? I mean, we're just gonna keep fighting. At the end of the day, you know, there's no quit in this team. I mean, there should be any fans, but they're really true fans. At the end of the day, you know, I love every single person on this team. I love the fans, but they're not gonna be with us and they're really fans to begin with. What you got for me, Eddie? I mean, what's the mood like on the sideline when you look up and 50 minutes into the game, real time, down by 24? I mean, I Honestly, at that point, you know, it was just like, let's just go out there and do what we can do. We can't control that. Obviously, you know, sometimes plays like that are going to happen. And uh, it's not in the defensive, you know, it's not our job to get mad at the offense, you know, do all that. You know, they're going to handle it. They're going to do whatever they can to get, get that corrected. You know, if we have a bad attitude and go out there when there's times where, you know, we have that fake punt. And then if we have a bad attitude, they're going to score again to get our, get our touchdown. But we do our thing. We hold them. And that's all we can do as a defense. I imagine when you decided to come back, you could have never expected it to be as bad as I mean, I don't think, I mean, yes and no. I mean, at the end of the day, I wanted to come back and just finish my career the right way, no matter how that signed up for. You know, I wouldn't change this locker room, you know. I wouldn't change it at all. I mean, I, I love every single person on this team. You know, at the end of the day, I, we're fighting. It is what it is. It's just the game of football. Jackson is somebody that obviously you're close with, and I know you're a big believer in him. What was it like to see him get another opportunity to get to go back in the game? Yeah, I mean, I was really happy for him. You know, that's a guy, you know, when things go his way, you know, he was kind of sidelined at the beginning. That's a guy who had hung his head up really high. He came to work every single day with the right attitude, right mindset, kept leading the guys. And then when he got his chance, he made the most of it. Really proud of him and how he responded. With the adversity right now, do you find it easier or harder to lead and be, a, be that voice that you've been? Oh, it's definitely harder. I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, leadership's easy when you're undefeated and everything's going your way. Now it's the time where, you know, some guys are going to, it's just naturally, you're going to have doubt. You're going to have just like, they're going to listen to outside noise and, uh, now's when it's really tough and we, I think um, we have a lot of guys that are stepping up and just doing what needs to be done. You're obviously a big believer in Brent and like I said earlier people are going to criticize this coaching staff, criticize the team. How much faith do you have in, in Brent to get this thing moving in the right direction? Not not just this year but long term as the head coach of this program. Oh I have the utmost you know faith in Coach Venables. You know that's you know that's a guy that no matter how the situation going, he's going to be as intense as positive and he's gonna, he gets things done. And that's just how Coach V is. I and mean, there's no doubt in my mind he's going to be successful here on out. You know, obviously, there's growing pains, and that's just it is what it is. We're just going to keep fighting. You know, we have a great opportunity next week, and we're excited for that. And we just have to flush this game, learn from the mistakes, and just keep doing better, get better and better. What was his message after the game to you guys? I mean, there was a lot said, obviously. But basically, you know, we're going to keep fighting. If you don't, if you think there's any doubt in your mind about what this team can still be, then, you know, some things have to happen. But obviously, there are not many guys that think like that. That's kind of the message. What were your thoughts I mean, on the defense as a whole? I mean, you, you talked about not getting a turnover and things like that, but guys like Jaden Jackson were able to get a sack, get them down to the sack. Just talk about the defense as a whole. What you think about that? I mean, we played our tails off, you know, from the start of the game to the end of the game. I'm really proud of that group. You know, we responded. You know, there was a lot of times in that game where, you know, it's easy to give up and give in, but those guys, no matter what the score was, were out there fighting and playing their tails off.